What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be continuing the top five series with top five Sonic games. And I'm doing this because Sonic's birthday is right around the corner on June 23rd. But anyways, let's get right into the video. Number five, Sonic Colors. Now, most people say this game is a 2D game. I say it's a 3D game. This game is amazing, way better than Unleashed. The story is all right, but the boost mechanic is amazing. The wisps are amazing. We just don't talk about Sonic Colors Ultimate because that's not Sonic Colors. But for the most part, this game is amazing. And plus we have the cutscene where Tails jokes with Sonic. That's just like the best cutscene ever. The one where Tails roasts Sonic. And plus, I love the ending with all the wisps come together and then Sonic just basically does the double boost into Eggman's ship. He goes boom. And uh, now we know that the Wisps are like almost faster than Sonic, which that's pretty cool, adds to the storyline. But yeah, that's why I really love Sonic Colors. It actually, I think it's my first Sonic game I've ever picked up. So yeah, I guess that's a lot of nostalgia. But anyways, moving on to number four. Number four, Sonic 2. You know, considering this game came out in 1992, this is one of the best Sonic games ever. There's no bad zones except for Metropolis, but I cannot tell you. The boss fights in this game are also amazing. It gave us one of the most iconic boss fights, the Death Egg. Metal Sonic was actually pretty cool in it, and there's way more to talk about. We introduced Tails, one of the best Sonic characters. Like, this is just amazing. I love Sonic 2. The only part that I actually had trouble on was uh, the Chemical Plant Act 2 or Act 1, I forgot. Again, a lot of nostalgia with this game for me. You know, I got it on mobile. So I actually have a lot of nostalgia with this game and I don't think I've ever actually beaten Sonic 2. I've always been stuck on the Death Egg, but now I know that's like the easiest boss fight. So I'm probably gonna go beat it after this recording. Anyways, moving on to number three. Number three, Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania is just a masterpiece. This again, this game was made when Sonic when it was in its darkest times, I think. And Sonic Team didn't even make this. Fans made this game. Every zone is an art piece. Like, look at Sudiopolis. It's an art piece. A TV show pretty much came out of this, and that got a ton of views, and everybody loved it. Not even to mention the DLC was just mwah, French Kiss amazing. Mighty and Ray are not used enough. I'm so glad they brought them back. The story's amazing. I say the only downside is Oil Ocean, because let's just be honest like spoil ocean and i mean like i do have a lot of trouble on uh, the last zone and the boss fight is not that good the final one but other than that the story's amazing the cutscenes are amazing especially with the art i love the art for the game but anyways moving on to number two number two sonic frontiers now i'm just gonna be real with you all sonic frontiers is the greatest comeback of all time for sega like, I cannot express to you how good this game is. Like, it's collecting the memory tokens, to the cutscenes, to the story, to the gameplay, to the boss fights. It's just amazing. Even cyberspace is really good. And, though not to mention, a bunch of free DLC. And some of this DLC is gonna be insane. We're basically gonna get another story, and we're able to play as Tails, Knuckles, and Amy for another DLC. Like, that's just mind blowing. Alright? The mods for this game are insane. Like, even after you beat the game, there is still so much to do and you have so much fun. I love the skill tree, the upgrading. It's honestly just amazing. It's what I've always wanted, really. It's. I can't even tell you how good Sonic Frontiers is. Even the boss fights. I get like a rush whenever I play those boss fights. That's how good. Not even to mention all the collectibles, especially Big the Catfishing. That was just like the little ding on the cup. Like that was the icing on the cake. I love that so freaking much. Oh my gosh. Anyways, moving on to number one. Number one, Sonic Generations. Like, come on guys, what were you expecting? This game is amazing. The level design, bringing back classic Sonic, the boss fights, the only thing 
that holds this game down is the ending boss fight. The story is pretty good, and I honestly love how broken Sonic is in this game, and you can restore colors by running really fast. Don't even get me started with City Escape inside this game. It is amazing, the classic Sonic level and the modern Sonic level. Speed, Speed Highway was amazing. The challenges are amazing. I think there's like an online mode also, which again is amazing. This is like the peak Sonic. This is just peak Sonic. This is what everyone wanted. If this game is not number one for you, then like you're gonna have to like explain something to me because I do not know. This game is amazing. And even like it even has one of the best lines. Enjoy your free future. It's gonna be great. Like, that's just an amazing line, but also I think one of the things holding the game back is uh, at the final boss, the characters go, come on Sonic, you can do this, but really it's just the final boss that holds back the game. Other than that, the game is amazing, 10 out of 10. Alright guys, those are my top 5 Sonic games, hopefully you agree with my list, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, go check out the first episode of this series, top 5 Sonic Speed Simulator skins. Make sure to also to go check out my most popular video right here, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.